We are on a Mesa Gets Lantern 60 machine uh, with a Mesa Troll 640T CNC. Um, we are going to do the parameters backup and ladder backup. So let's go to first to hit um, the left key and go to data input output. And in this case, uh, we are going to select the floppy. First of all, we need to select the, we have um, a virtual or a floppy emulator, which has an internal memory, um, which is a virtual, virtual floppy disk of a 1.44 megabyte. To open that, I virtual floppy disk we just need to press ok and now it's like uh, the disk has been inserted so now that this is ready to receive information from the CNC so on this side we have to select floppy and select the director directory or a folder in our case we are gonna enter the folder 807 like the machine number and save from the CNC, uh, CNC to the copy disk and select each file or parameter we're gonna skip the macro variable because this uh, option is not being used on this machine and if we save it it's going to create an empty file and if we use this backup to restore the machine it's going to uh, have an error because that file is uh, empty so we're going to skip that if we want to read the data on a computer using a plain text uh, um, software like notepad or similar we need to select this option here if you don't have it on your machine means that this option need to be enabled through a parameter that i'm gonna uh, put on the description below so once uh, you have selected all the data you can also uh, add the part program files and by selecting each of, the, of the, the ones that you have on the list and pressing input, in this case I'm not gonna, gonna save them. So once you finish that, you just press again program file and hit start. And now the data is being transferred to the floppy, virtual floppy disk. As you see here, on the leader square that is black meaning that the uh, is writing data on the on the on the disk once that's that is finished you'll see the little square or rectangular is uh, now empty meaning that the transfer has finished so next step, as we said, is to create a ladder backup to do this. We have to go to diagnosis, version, ladder monitor, and tool. From here, you have the option to write the, um, or create a backup from the CNC to a compact flash like this one that can be inserted in here or to the hard drive we don't have the option to save on the, on the floppy but we're gonna create a, the backup on the hard drive and leave the option as a default and hit nc hard drive save and override all the file the first file is the ladder itself and the next ones are for a, each language option that the cnc has and we are gonna override by pressing input every time okay let's exit from here
Okay, the other copy that you can do is from the uh, wrong copy from the RAM to the flash ROM. This is just for the PLC ladder. You want to save the languages files. You have to close here and go to PLC land. And hit from language to flash ROM as well. Okay. Once you've done this, you can go back and press in to finish the process and move the cursor to the touch bar and hit the right the mouse key no button and sorry over touch over start oh sorry there you go uh, and select explore here you have a folder that is called ladder so you have to press the it's pretty sensitive let me move to here I need to place the cursor over the, the folder and hit the right click and send to the floppy A and press input to transfer the folder to the floppy and override all the data on the floppy now. The next packet that you can do is to go to maintain folder and here execute the software or app that is called maintain um, this option maintenance to the, you have the option to back up not only the CNC data but also the options which is a file or a, yes it's a file that is uploaded to the machine with the machine options that you need or you bought so let's press update that file okay and uh, you can also Back up the ID, the Windows ID. Press OK, and here you can back up the CNC from the SRAM to the flash drive. And from the SRAM to the file SRAM BKF dot on the C drive okay here the machine options uh, as I said they are uh, installed by using a cassette that is provided by Mesa but if you lose this file you are gonna need the service Mesa service to, in order to provide a password to upload them again so be careful with that you have to back up this uh, data as well so let's go to here and exit 
and if you see or you sort the files by modified you will see there are just three files Okay, these are the three files that has been updated on this machine. So I'm gonna send them to the floppy as, as well. Hit input. Let's say if the CNC crash, if you use only the SRAM file, you can restore the, the machine to the original condition by using the, this software and doing the opposite process. Okay, once you restore the, the backup, you have to reboot the power cycle of the machine. So let's check the floppy. So we have the folder with the parameters uh, and this folder can be replaced uh, by using the SRAM EKF file. The MNT backup file is the options, machine options and serial number. And then we have this uh, ladder backup. So now we're gonna save the the file or the floppy virtual floppy disk into a USB. So we need to remove the virtual floppy by pressing escape. We need to press OK during three seconds. We have the menu set up. We can go to the internal disk options. We can download the internal disk or save the internal disk we're gonna save the internal disk and enter uh, insert the USB thumb drive now it's saving the the disk and it's gonna give us the file name There you go, the file name is save2.emg and can be opened with the win image as a, um, a floppy disk image. It's like a, a zip a file or similar but a different format. So that's all for now and hope this helps.